Unless you've been living under a rock over the past couple of months, you've probably heard about one of the largest up-and-coming DeFi protocols known as Hyperliquid. This protocol has been gaining a lot of attention for its ease of use, good interface, low fees, high liquidity, and good design in the perp deck space. In this video, we'll be covering everything you need to know about Hyperliquid, including details about their points and airdrop program, what sort of usage metrics it's achieved, protocol mechanics, future upgrades and potential price catalysts, and more. Without further ado, let's get into it. So what exactly is Hyperliquid? Hyperliquid is a decentralized exchange that offers users the ability to trade a variety of different cryptocurrency assets with perpetual futures contracts. These perpetual futures contracts, or PERPs for short, work very similarly to trading normal spot markets, but they also give users the ability to long or short crypto assets with leverage using margin or borrowed funds. This introduces new mechanics to trading such as liquidation prices and funding fees. Hyperliquid has been able to excel as one of these perpetual decentralized exchanges by integrating a variety of different trading pairs into their platform, along with having good on-chain liquidity for many of these pairs. Hyperliquid is attractive to perp traders because it provides users with up to 20x leverage on major asset pairs, offers low slippage and fees, has very low execution times, and works on an order book system. Hyperliquid is different to other on-chain PERP exchange designs due to the fact that users trading these PERP contracts do so through an order book on a custom chain rather than an AMM or an Oracle-based engine. Using their custom chain design along with an optimized consensus algorithm called HyperBFT, the Hyperliquid platform is able to support approximately 100,000 orders a second with a median end-to-end -end latency of 0.2 seconds. Now that we understand what Hyperliquid is, let's understand what sort of an impact it's been able to have. Over the past couple of months, Hyperliquid has quickly grown into one of the most used decentralized perp exchanges in crypto because of their great product, along with their very hyped points program. This has led to them taking on significant market share in the perpetual decentralized exchange space, reaching daily volumes in the billions. Margin trading volume on Hyperliquid also tends to stay consistently in the billions. A user comparison among these decentralized PERP exchanges also shows that Hyperliquid has by far the most consistent daily users. Obviously, some of this is attributed to people farming the airdrop, but relative to the rest of the space, these figures are very impressive. This platform has also seen hundreds of millions in cumulative, stablecoin deposits over time, with additional flows entering every day. Even if flows into Hyperliquid seem to be slowing down over the last few months, the amount of stablecoins in the platform continues to trend upwards over time. More interesting figures about stats like total volume, total deposits, total withdrawals, total liquidations, annualized funding rates, slippage, and more can all be found on the Hyperliquid stats page, which I will have linked in the description. One of the largest focal points of this platform recently has been their points program, which has had a huge impact on giving this platform the exposure it currently has. By engaging in different activities across the Hyperliquid ecosystem, such as trading spot markets, perpetual markets, and being an affiliate, Users have the ability to earn Hyperliquid points. These points are, quote, meant to reward users who contribute to the protocol's success. Generally in crypto, this has meant a token allocation upon token generation event, and these points are expected to be no different. The Hyperliquid points programs have been split up over two different time periods, with the first program distributing 1 million points per week over the course of six months, and the second distributing 700,000 per week over the course of four months. 2 million points per week were distributed to users trading between the official phases in order to reward organic activity. As we are still in the second phase of this points program, it's not yet clear if there will be another program after this one ends or if the protocol will go forwards with their token generation event. We can't give you a full overview of Hyperliquid without also mentioning their meme coin space and vaults product. Meme coins have had a large impact on the Hyperliquid ecosystem after HIP2 or Hyperliquid Improvement Protocol 2 which was passed in March of this year. This improvement protocol integrated spot markets into the platform, which allowed users to create their own meme coins to trade on the Hyperliquid chain. The largest one on the platform, which is known as dollar per, has been ranging between a 120 and 70 million market cap for the past couple of months and is expected to be a beta asset for the future Hyperliquid coin. Hyperliquid vaults are basically contracts that users can deposit money into, which allows the vault or owner to use as liquidity for trades taken on the Hyperliquid platform. If the strategies used generate a profit, depositors are rewarded pro rata for their deposits with 10% of the profits going to the vault owner. Users who deposit assets in these Hyperliquid vaults are known as HLPs. In order to ensure vault owners manage the liquidity in these vaults responsibly, 
Owners are forced to enter these vaults with their own money in order to have skin in the game. By far the largest vault on the platform is the community-owned vault, which provides market-making strategies to a variety of asset pairs, manages liquidations, and redistributes protocol fees. This vault currently has $246 million in total value locked and has returned an 11% APR to vault holders over the past month. Other smaller vaults can be seen on the vault's page with different returns based on performance. The hyperliquid timeline is outlined on their website, which shows some of the previous developments that have taken place. That, along with further optimization of the chain and their upcoming token generation event, are the things to look forwards to for Hyperliquid. Details about the Hyper token generation event are not yet public, but we can expect it to take place after the airdrop programs are completed. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe as it greatly helps my channel. If you want more protocol guides or have ideas for interesting crypto topics for me to dissect, please leave your ideas in the description and I'll do my best to get to them. Until next time, thanks for watching.